Hello everyone, today Konami actually just released for the 200th YCS coming up this later this year, it released all the mats that they will be distributing out and also the new YCS prize card for the 2018-2019 New Year circuit. But first, let's get to the mats. The first ones are going to be a gold sarcophagus mat, that's the participation mat for anyone who plays in the YCS. It's personally my favorite mat since I love the look of the gold sarcophagus in general. I love the card, but also I love all the lines in the symmetry of the bars coming down that says the 200th YCS. I think this mat looks amazing, and I can't wait for others to get it when they participate in the huge YCS circuit coming up. Now they are giving away a second mat for one of Matt side events at the 200th YCS. The side event for one of Matt involves all the Yu-Gi-Oh protagonists that it looks very amazing. It looks like they've gone all out on the 200th YCS, which I think is amazing. Since, well, I think it's, pr it's pretty cool that they're doing all of this for the 200th YCS. And they're pretty much backing up the hype that they put around this. Having all these simultaneous YCSs going on at once. I think it's a really good callback to all the different generations of Yu-Gi-Oh! And how it's evolved over time. By having all their protagonists' faces on the one mat at once. I also love how in the middle of the mat your eye draws to the 200th YCS and how it's perfectly symmetrical with three on the left and three on the right for the faces. So again, I like this a lot. I like all three mats, surprisingly. Usually I'm not a big fan of the YCS mats, but these I'm a pretty big fan of. Now the last one's the top cut mat, which is probably the one I'm the least a fan of, but so it looks okay. It has the Pendulum Dragon Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon on it, which I think, I mean, it's fine. It doesn't appeal to me too much. I like, I really like the Gold Sark more since that catches my eye. I mean, it's just a solid mat. It doesn't look hideous, but time to see the new YCS prize card for the 2018-2019 season. And this card is of Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. So, it's the Chaos Emperor Pendulum card, the Pendulum Dragon card. It's a low 8 Dark Dragon Pendulum Effect monster with 3000 attack, 2500 defense, Pendulum Scale 1. With the Pendulum Effect, you can pay 1000 life points, then target one of your banished monsters, destroy this card, and if you do, add that monster to your hand. You can only use this effect of Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon, once per turn. Monster Effect could not be special summoned set, must be special summoned. From your hand or extra deck by banishing one light and dark monster from your graveyard. You can only special summon one Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon, once per turn this way. Once per turn, you can pay half your life points. Send as many cards as you control as possible to the graveyard, except from the extra monster zone, and if you do, send cards your opponent controls to the graveyard, up to the number of your cards sent to the graveyard, then inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card sent to the graveyard by this card's effect. If this face up special summon card leaves the field, return to the bottom of the deck. Now, it's pretty interesting how they ended up going with one of the 20th anniversary dragons they released in the OCG, but I'm really glad they went with Chaos Emperor because it was, I guess, the only good one, or I thought it was the best one out of the all the others. I mean, the traditional one was awful, and then you had the Light Swarm one, Judgment Dragon, it's just not good. It's pretty interesting how they decided to go with the, the 20th anniversary Chaos Emperor dragon, but I like it because I think it has a little nostalgia effect because it is Chaos Emperor Dragon, but it's in a new form. So I really like that. I'm just really happy though, they didn't put a Minerva level YCS card. Keep it keep it locked behind that. Because I could have easily saw it doing with like Needle, Needle Fiber. Oh my gosh. People would have gone crazy if Needle Fiber was a YCS prize card. Oh, people would be so mad. But I'm fine with this. I personally really enjoy the YCS prize card they chose. And I also, I'm looking forward to all, pretty much all the mats that they have coming out for the 200th YCS. With the Gold Sark, I'm really liking it a lot. And then the throwback to all the Yugo protagonists. And then the Top Cut mat. I mean, all of them are above average to great mats. Which, usually at YCS, you usually have one really good mat and one bad mat. But I guess they're going all out. What do you think of the new YCS card being announced in Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon? Are you happy with it? I am personally. I'm just happy that 
they didn't put, un, like I said earlier, another Minerva or car, Crush Card Virus that when you get this card, you can now play another deck. Because the one awful thing about Minerva was it made the Zombie Swarm deck playable from unplayable status. It made everyone was able to top with the Zombies. Everyone who topped with the Zombie Swarm had Minerva in the deck when it was YCS price card. And so it just made certain decks unplayable pretty much in the meta. I'm really happy to see this price card isn't having that kind of effect on the de other decks. Well, that's everything that Konami announced today. So I hope you all have a great day and can't wait till the 200th YCS coming up. See ya.